Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video, I'm going to go over the Nexion GPIO pins, and then I'm going to show you this little relay board that I designed that plugs directly into the ribbon cable in the back of the Nexion display. In order to use the GPIO pins, you have to configure them or set them up initially and I do it in the post initialize portion for the page itself and in this case I just have a one page display and you use the command CF GPIO and then it's followed by the ID of the port that you want to use and it's zero base so it's zero through seven equates to outputs one through eight. The second uh, input that you put in defines whether it's PWM, whether it's output, whether it's input. Uh, you can do different things with it. And I have a more in-depth video that I'll put a link to in the bottom. For this case, we're going to use two. And then if you wanted to bind it to an object on the display, you can do that here by using the object ID. In this case, I'm going to use buttons and a timer, so I'm not going to bind it to anything. And you can see I've set up all eight pins or all eight GPIO port pins to, um, to be a number two. I have eight buttons here, dual state buttons, and there's no coding assigned to any of them, but I do have the ID set a certain way. And I also have number fields set, and there's no coding with them, but I also have the ID set a certain way. And for the number fields, I have them 1 through 8. So N0 is 1, N1 is 2, 3, 4, and so on. And then the buttons, I have those, has ID 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. I couldn't get this result by adding a number field, then a button field. I had to add all eight number fields. Then I actually added the timer and this variable down here, and then I added the button fields. And you can see that my timer is 9, my variable is 10, and then I start back up here on 11. And I did that to keep them 10 apart. So where the number field is 1 and it relates to button number 11, it just made it easier for this video. The variable I just have set up as a number and I'll use that to count through with the timer. The timer I have set to go as fast as I can, so it's 50 milliseconds. And this is where the IDs come in. So I have this variable and I assign it to one, which just so happens to be the ID of the number zero field. Here, I'll move this over. So this is number, or the ID for this is one, and the ID for the button is 11. So down here I'm going to cycle through all of the VA0 values as I step from 1 to 8. When you just use a B by itself and then the brackets, it is a component array. So the component that I'm associating with this is whatever number I put for that VA0.val in that spot. So I'm going to count up from 1 to 8. And then over here, I'm going to make it equal to the value of 11 through 18. So I'm adding 10 to each one. So that means each number value is associated to the button value. Every 50 milliseconds, the timer is going to look at all these buttons, and whatever the value of it is, it's going to associate it to this number. Then after I'm done with that, I'm going to set the output so that the output pin PIO0 through 8 or through 7, and I'm going to set those equal to whatever the value is for the button. So I'm going to take that button value, set it to the number, and set it to the output. So it's a pretty simple display here. But the part that I forget a, a lot is this initializing it. So I won't initialize the pins, and they won't work, and I won't know why, and then I'll fight with it. And then I'll remember, oh yeah, you got to initialize each output. So now I'm going to upload this, and I'll show it to you on the display, and I'll show you the little relay board. 
So you can see I have the display here. And when I press a button, that goes to the output goes to one, and the display shows a one. And when I press it, it goes back. Then I have this relay board here. And you can put five, I've tested with five volt and 12 volt relays. And I have an external power up here. So you, you, you really don't want to power the relays from the display itself. It can't really deliver enough current. So what I have is I have an external power connector. And then when I press the buttons, you can see that they come on. So I have a little LED indicator on here. And then you also can solder the relays. I'll show you that here next. The nice part about this is you don't need an Arduino or anything. You can just tie these two together with the ribbon cable and you can control the relays. I'm working on another board that will provide a PWM output. So I think that'll be useful too. And so I'm hoping to sell these boards. I'm asking for a donation. And then if you pay for shipping, I'll send you a board. Right now, I'm not looking for any specific donation. I don't have a lot of these boards though. So if you don't mind, go to the cheap controls and then fill out that, go to that need help section and you can submit a comment there. Let me know if you want a board or not. And I just want to get enough off of the initial boards that I've made to maybe make some more. Um, I also had, I sent out a sample and it doesn't come with the relays. It just comes as a board. And then you buy those little blue relays off Amazon. And but the complaint that I had in the initial ones I sent out were that they liked them to already have the relays in. So the next set of boards I make, I'll make some five volt ones and some 12 volt ones and then just sell them already put together. And I'd also like to design one that could do a PWM directly out of it too. So you can control a servo or something like that and just have it plugged directly into the next display. At least I think this is something that people might want. I'm kind of treating this as a crowdfunder. I went to crowdfund, but they didn't want to sponsor me. So I'm just going to try and do it on my own and see what happens. So uh, let me know what you think. And uh, like I said, if you're interested, head over to cheapcontrols.com and fill out that sheet. Thanks. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.